Hi, my name is Tom Covey. I'm the Sales Support Engineer here at Sony Professional Solutions of America. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get started with Sony's new AnyCast Touch Live Content Producer. We'll be going over touchscreen interfaces, setting up audio and video inputs, and modifying select system settings. Let's get started. First, you need to power the unit on. Connect the supplied AC adapter to the AnyCast Touch and connect the other end to a nearby power source. Next, we'll need to connect our input and output devices. Using the input and output panel at the rear of the AnyCast Touch, connect your devices to the appropriate input and output connectors. Then, power up all connected devices before the AnyCast Touch. Now, press the power button on the left side panel. A Sony logo appears with a progress bar. Once the system is booted, a display will be present on both panels. There are two control surfaces on the AnyCast Touch, the main touch panel and the subtouch panel. Both surfaces can be controlled at the same time. The main touch panel contains all options related to video switching. The subtouch panel contains the audio mixer in addition to other features, such as the virtual keyboard, system settings, and effects and recording options. To initiate an action, you simply need to tap on an item on either of the panels. In addition, certain items contain contextual menu options, which can be activated when you tap and hold that specific item. The main touch panel consists of three areas. The scene input area, the next program area, and the options area. At the top of the main touch panel, you'll also find indicators for streaming and recording features. In between the program and next windows are the take and cut buttons, which are used to control the transition of video from the next window to the program output of the AnyCast Touch. The take button acts very much like an auto transition button on traditional video switchers. By default, the subtouch panel displays the audio mixer, but it also contains other functionality, including the system setup options, camera control, and effects control. To set up your inputs, tap on the toolbox icon in the top right hand corner of the subtouch panel. This will open up the setup menu. Here, you can set up your video inputs video outputs, assign the audio inputs to specific faders on the audio mixer, and change system settings like date and time and network settings of the unit. In the video setup area, you can rename your video sources and select the appropriate connector to be used for inputs 1 through 4, which are switchable. In the audio setup area, you can rename the faders that appear in the audio mixer, select which audio inputs are affected by a specific fader, and enable or disable the embedded audio signal on the SDI and HDMI inputs. Once your inputs and outputs are set up, you should see live video thumbnails of your video sources on the main touch panel in the input area to the left of the screen. That's it for now. I hope you found this overview of the AnyCast Touch Switcher both enjoyable and helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.